All right, so top 10 spring sneakers. And there's only one thing that you should know. I made this list off of shoes that I thought would be cool to go out and enjoy wearing for the spring. Forget the hype. Every single one of these shoes you can easily obtain for right around retail. They're linked for you down in the description. I've got some really good stuff in this video, so let's get into it. Okay, first up, you already know the deal. I've worn these a lot. They're tried and true. We've got the New Balance 1906 Utility. By now, a lot of you have probably already tried these out. They're a must, kind of. Honestly, this is one of the most popular shoes of this year. These are really what's leading the charge for New Balance right now, and it's pretty fun to watch. I've got this colorway here that is very spring appropriate, and there are a bunch of others that are gonna get that springtime look accomplished for you. This model is flooding the market right now, and there are so many different colorways that you can choose from. I just got the new Kith collab that I really like. It's completely different than the pair that I'm showing you here. It's a nice little balance between daytime and nighttime here. It's just a good model. You should give it a try. Okay, next up is a pair that took me a month to get. I'm gonna try not to go off, but I purchased this shoe over a month ago. I'm not gonna say from who, but if you see the label, you see the label. Basically what happened is they put this shoe up a little bit early on their site. I didn't know that. I saw them, thought they were awesome, purchased them. Then I got an email saying, hey, we put these out too early. We'll get them to you after they release, which is in three weeks from now. So I'm like, all right, I guess you're just holding my money until then, they did that and then never shipped the shoes. I had to follow up and be like, hey, where are they at? They're like, oh yeah. They literally were like, oh yeah. But that experience does not take away from the awesomeness of this shoe. We've got the Nike Air Pegasus 2K5. Now this is actually a retro, not this particular colorway that I know of, but these have released before. I thought this was a new model, it's not. This colorway though is absolutely wild. It reminds me of the Comme des Garcons collab on the Nike 180, I always wanted those. This is gonna be my consolation prize because I was never able to get them. What's crazy to me though is that there is fire red on this shoe. Originally I just thought it's black and pink. I've been mentioning to you guys that I wanna get a few more darker based shoes into my collection. So this is a nice little break from the standard runners that I would normally pick up. Really, really like these. Okay, next up is absolutely not something you're expecting. And I can't remember the last time I featured a pair of Vans on this channel. I was big into Vans for a moment, but the comfort wasn't there for me. And I needed something a little bit more. That waffle sole just wasn't doing it. I would wear them for more than an hour and Ouch. So when I saw these, I was like, okay, now we're talking. So we've got the Vans off the wall, half cab 33 with a Vibram sole. These are absolutely nuts. And this is probably the only risk that I'm taking with all of these. You know, every single one of these shoes I've already worn or plan to wear, and I'm gonna have no problem styling or wearing them on the regular, but this shoe, it's gonna be a challenge. Look at this color combination. You're never gonna see a sunburst yellow on top of a sage green. They were just really intriguing to me and we'll see how it goes. Okay, next up is probably the best Jordan shoe that you can get right now on sale. And this is actually my first time checking them out. We've got the Air Jordan 3 Craft. Wow, they are, they're nice, dang. These are clean. So the different shades of white on here are ivory and mist cream. Now I'll spare you a full review, but that back tab, that's not gonna get old. I think that that is so cool. I know that I'm gonna wear these for a fact because the Air Jordan 3 muslin that released, what, two or three years ago is a shoe that I wore a ton. They just ended up being on my feet all the time when I wanted a neutral, comfortable Jordan retro, which is actually a little bit harder to find than you'd think. So the Air Jordan 3 Craft is absolutely on the list. I've enjoyed wearing the fours and I think I'll enjoy wearing these too. Next up is another pair that I've shown you guys before and I love them. So we've got the Nike Air Max Plus Voltage Purple. Now these got their own unboxing video from me, so that goes to show you how much I really like them. I went over some facts, some unknown stuff about the shoe that you might not know, but 
Here's my point. This is an Air Max model that you might find refreshing in your rotation. If you're only rocking the 90s, the Air Max 1 or the 95s and the 97s, try the Air Max Plus. I'm telling you, it's different, especially this OG version. It's a little bit more comfortable. I don't know what they did to it, but they slapped the OG name onto it, made it more comfortable. Definitely check out the Voltage Purple and the Air Max Plus Drift. Oh yeah, they're on this list. We'll get to them. Next up is a shoe that I just got recently, the New Balance 860 V2 in this silver and purple colorway. This taps into that metallic trend that's happening right now. New Balance is pushing a lot of shoes that have these panels that have reflective silver or gold on them. And it's not my favorite feature. Like these even have a little bit of it on there with that copper. I can stand a little bit of it. I don't want an entire silver shoe. There's a light blue version as well, but you know, I was thinking I could rock these with a couple Nautica track jackets that I have. If 140 is your price range, you can grab a pair of these. They fit true to size. They're linked for you down in the description. Okay, next up is a pair that I'm very hyped on. I don't know if anyone else is, but this particular shoe is very minimal. I could see this gaining some traction. I could see this model becoming pretty popular in the streets and it's only $100. We've got the Nike Field General 82. Here's the deal, Nike needed something at this price point. You know, the Dunk is now 120. This definitely feels like a response to the Adidas Samba, which is absolutely on fire right now. And this just goes to show how deep the archives are at Nike. Okay, the Samba's popular. Let's just go in the archive and release something that's similar. Here's something that you gotta know. These are made to be worn. If you wanna treat them like an Air Force One where any single mark on them, you're, you're gonna you know, try to clean it and keep them clean, no. That's not this shoe. They are gonna crease, they're gonna get scuffed up, and you just gotta embrace it. Next up, this pair I've wanted since the first images leaked. It's such an interesting shoe. We've got the Nike Air Max Plus Drift in Phantom. If you haven't seen this shoe in person, they're, they're wild. I don't know how else to put it. It's basically this shoe on steroids. Like this is the Terminator version. This is the evil villain that has come back eight times stronger and badder. So there's a bunch of reasons why I like these. For one, you're gonna break some necks. These aren't gonna look like anything else that is out there. Number two, they're built like a tank. For me, spring in New England, it's muddy, it's wet. I need something that I can easily clean and this shoe should be that. There's no suede on it really anywhere. These panels on the top, you know, if you just get a wet paper towel, you should be able to clean off any kind of dirt on them. They're comfortable. That tuned air is pretty nice and they're just a tank. They fit my feet very well too, so that is a major bonus. If you went ahead and grabbed a pair of these, let me know. Okay, so moving on, we have a pair of Adidas that you may have seen or you may not have seen. Basically, it depends when I upload the video, but this is gonna be one of my favorite new everyday shoes. You know, you gotta have the solid everyday shoes. Half of these are like statement sneakers, and then the other half are everyday shoes. This particular pair, the Adidas Spiritane 2000, is an excellent everyday shoe. What's so special about this shoe? Well, you can pick them up right now for 80 bucks. They're one of the more comfortable retro runners that you can buy under $100. They are linked for you guys down in the description. They fit true to size with a nice little roomy fit. Okay, moving on, let's get into a pair of Nike Dunks. This is the Nike Dunk Low Deep Royal. If you have a skate shop near you, you may have been able to find this pair sitting on the shelf. SB Dunks are a little bit easier to get nowadays than they used to be say like a year or so ago, which is great. You can pretty much get these right around retail right now, even if you don't have a skate shop near you. This is a very wearable dunk. Honestly, if J. Crew was gonna do a Nike SB dunk, it would probably look something like this. A very smooth, deep royal suede on there. 
the materials are nice and Nike SB is doing a good job right now. So if you're tired of just the regular inline dunks and you want something that's maybe a little bit more limited but you don't have to pay big bucks for, right here. So let me know if you guys went ahead and grabbed any of these pairs. They're linked for you down in the description. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys are rocking this spring. Make sure you subscribe before you get out of here. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoy my content and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.